I am heir to a great Sith bloodline. How dare you even ask such a question of me? You're back. I wasn't expecting you to be so quick. Your power is impressive, even among the Sith. I'm sure you want to rest up, but I'd like to hear. Did you find the artifacts? Inside this device is an alien mind. It was responsible for the destruction of Zerka. It says it wants to work with us. There's an intelligence stored in there? That's just incredible, huh? That's amazing. We can do an initial study here, but a find like this has to go to Drummond Kass. You've turned this expedition around. After our losses, I didn't think I'd be filing a mission report, let alone declaring victory. If I hadn't come along, you'd still be searching for Zerka's droids. And maybe we wouldn't have found the Jawas and activated that first artifact. It's hard to say. With Darth Sylph gone, I am in charge. You ever need our help, you know where to find me. Without skill, Captain, I'll remember your offer. You're too kind, my lord. Safe journeys out there. And be careful. This galaxy has a lot of old secrets. Once you start seeing them, they tend to start looking back. I never expected to see you again. Does this mean you ventured beyond the Forbidden Pass and found Master Yonlock? I have yet to meet a challenge I can't conquer. This is a great lesson. The only barriers that exist are the ones we create in our minds. I will never again assume that I know all there is to know, and I will explore the entirety of the Tatooine Desert without reservation. You have learned much from this. I hope Lord Barris knows how fortunate he is to have such a fine champion shepherding his cause. I shall never forget you. I'll remember you fondly as well. Safe travels, my lord. If you're ever on Tatooine again, come and see me. It will be a pleasure to put this overheated sandbox behind us. Yes, I've had my fill of sunshine. I will ready the ship for our departure. Admirably, Apprentice. Your time on Tatooine was well spent. 
Norman Carr's Padawan Jason Wilson no longer enjoys anonymity. I am very pleased. I'm touched by your enthusiasm. Your handling of Master Yonlock has sent our enemies a clear message. Norman Carr and Jason Wilson now know they cannot hide. It gnaws at the Master and will bring his prized Padawan to her knees. I cannot wait to get my hands on them. I believe that moment is rushing toward us. Only Alderaan remains. Jason Wilson's homeworld. Go there immediately. I will contact you when you arrive.
Prentice, I see you've touched down on Alderaan, Jason Wilson's home planet where Norman Carr found her. Excellent. You will discover everything you can about this Padawan and destroy everyone she loves there. What are we trying to achieve? It is the same mandate as Tatooine. Assault Jaysa from afar. Stir her emotions and flush her to the surface. Unfortunately, with the civil war for the Alderanian throne raging, your contact, Duke Kendo of House Thule, has become unreliable. Kendo was supposed to find Jaysa Wilson's family for you, but it seems he's distracted. You must undistract him. Why don't I just kill him? No doubt someday the man's usefulness will be exhausted. But today is not that day. Kendo is a political creature. The consequences of failing me are abstract for him. Once they are made concrete, he'll cooperate. You'll find him in the House Thule Executive Chambers. Make haste. <laughs> Greetings, my lord. I bring the good wishes of Moff Sarek, the officer entrusted with annexing this planet. He has been anticipating your arrival. Bring me up to speed. I would not presume to answer that. The Moff can explain to you himself. A good day, my lord. It will well serve the aims of the Empire to have so accomplished a Sith on this planet. I expect to care little for the niceties of politics here, so I will be brief. The Empire intends to use Alderaan's succession struggle to bring it into the fold, and I'm offering you the opportunity to play a pivotal role. I'll need details before I put my neck on the line. The heir to Alderaan's throne was recently assassinated, right after withdrawing from the protection of the Republic. The planet's in civil war, and for the first time in thousands of years, without the armies of the Republic to bring order. A divided world will fall quickly. Yes, we must make our move now, while the throne stands empty. We have an alliance with one of the noble houses, House Thor. The house was exiled 60 years ago after a failed bid for power, and came to us instead. Unfortunately, they have proven too weak to do what's needed. Do they need the fear of the Emperor put into them? Yes. Jorad, one of the Thal Lords, insists on following Alderaan's rules of civilized warfare. I want you to show him warfare is far from civil. Several of Thal's vassal houses have rebelled since Thal's connection to us became public. This cannot be allowed. Take a slave collar from my man here and drag one of these rebels to our weak-willed Lord Thal. Kill the rest and leave them where they fall. These Alderaan lordlings will beg to serve the Empire. These lords of Alderaan must lose their foolish pride. Those who will not bow must break. You lack patience, Duke Kendo. There are standard procedures that must be adhered to. Your disregard for our family rules is appalling. You are an abomination. Goodbye, cousin. Fools. They won't be feeling much of anything for long. Duke Kendo, Darth Barris sent me. What? You're not on my schedule. I don't appreciate being interrupted. Barris isn't even on my radar, Sith. I have a war to wage and personal ambitions to achieve here. I'm here to adjust your radar. A threat? 
You see these Sith I have attending me? Your corpse will be my message to your master. Femres, make this intruder a distant memory, will you? I'm sorry, Duke Kendo. We are assigned to protect you and support your interests in the struggle for Alderaan. But we serve the Emperor first, and we will not cross Darth Barras or his apprentice. I don't respect a kiss-up. I simply see the big picture. You have our respect and allegiance. Ah. Okay. That was unexpected. It seems I may have been hasty regarding your master's needs. How can I make amends? Start by bowing to me, too. Of course. Consider it a small demonstration of my repentance. I pledge the same level of focus that had me so absorbed in my own work. I pledge myself to your directives, and as I aid you, perhaps you'll be moved to help me in mine. We'll see. Time will tell. I am focused and at your service. As I recall, Darth Barris wanted information on a young Alderanian girl who was taken off planet to train with Jedi Master Nomen Carr. I was to locate her family so that you could, well, send the girl a message. For your sake, I hope you were successful. The truth is, information about this girl is difficult to come by. I managed only one lead. Nomen Carr's Padawan fits the description of the former handmaiden of a noblewoman in House Alder named Lady Renata. I've questioned her already, but Renata is protected by House Alder's greatest champion. The man has never met his match in melee. Sounds like a challenge. No doubt about it. The man isn't very bright, but he never leaves her side. If I may, once you've eliminated her protector and gotten what you need, I would personally be very indebted if you'd arrange to have Lady Renata brought to us for questioning. I'll take it under consideration. All right. I just hope the mood strikes you. While House Alder is a small player on Alderaan, it is affiliated with House Organa. Therefore, Lady Renata's estate is in hostile territory and very well defended. Be cautious. Caution is for worms like you. I won't argue with you there. I do hope to see you soon. Until then...
who? Uh, Crimar! Is that Crimar Noven? That's a free nobleman of Alderaan. Unhand him. Who are you? W what, what's this about? <gasps> If you are to join the Empire, you should take more care to recognize those in power. Uh, m my lord. All of Alderaan will be thrown into chains because of you! Silence, slave. The sooner you see reason, the easier it will be. I, I've said before that being too harsh might stir greater rebellion, though of course that's, that's up to you. I believe that is up to me. Uh, sir! This spineless toad will make a poor lord of Alderaan. Yes. It will take work to shape him. I hope you will undertake this for me. I would like to make you the voice of the Empire in House Thor. Aid Jorad and his men in crushing resistance to our rule. Obey him as if it were me, and with the same penalty for defiance. Tell him what you need, and he will ensure Thull's hold on Alderaan. Yes, sir. Sir. Penalty for defiance. I like the sound of that. I suppose the Moff expects us to take on House Organa. They're one of our oldest noble houses, and loyal to the Republic. Until recently, they've been without an army, but they've got supporters all over the planet. Uh, including here. You'll never find them. They've got top-of-the-line cloaking, better than anything the Empire makes. No probes will get through, no spy sats, nothing! You are an imbecile. House Organa denied raising an army, claiming it's just patriots defending their lands. But their attacks are too organized. We'll never find every group. We need to get inside their planet-wide communications. And that means finding a base with a physical link to slice into. Just tell me where to go. The Organa guerrillas have a base hidden in some cave or other natural camouflage. There should be a master comlink there, guarded by their best soldiers. If you insert this computer spike, it'll give us a back door into all their communications. Once we can hear them, there's nowhere on this world they'll be safe. House Organa will not make another move without us knowing.
My lady, we have intruder. Lady Renata, I seek the family of your former handmaiden, Jason Wilson. What's this nonsense you're spouting? I don't know what you're talking about. Lady, let me kill this Sith like the last one Duke Kendo sent. Windred, you don't need my permission to kill an enemy that comes barging through my door. Make it fast. Let me save you the trouble. This Sith faster than last one. I... sorry. This can't be. Um, I... I'm sorry I ordered him to kill you, Sith. I hope you don't hold it against me. You see, I've been fending off Duke Kendo's advances for some time, and I just assumed you were here for him. If you're not working for the Duke, I... I'll gladly cooperate. You... you mentioned a... a girl, yes? Jace or someone? Jace Wilson. Kendo told me she used to be your handmaid. Kendo is a liar. I was aware of the young handmaiden who left Alderaan with the Jedi Master. And I did hear the name Jason Wilson, but you're mistaken. I didn't know her. The girl never served me. Lying to me would be a very big mistake. Duke Kendo will be able to discover if she's lying. The Duke congratulates you on your impressive venture into House Alde. I'm here to take the fair lady to him. Don't let him take me to that... that pig. I do know who the girl worked for. I'll tell you all I can. If only you keep me from Duke Kendo. Don't leave anything out. All right. I'm going to trust that you'll be honorable. Before she left with the Jedi, Jason Wilson was the handmaiden of Giselle Organa of House Organa. They were inseparable. Before the war, Giselle was an aristocrat like myself. Now, she leads the Organan troops against House Olgo. Where exactly is this Giselle Organa? Uh, her headquarters are somewhere on the front line. The Duke will know where to find Giselle Organa, and how to reach her. If you let me deliver Lady Renata to him, I'm sure Kendo will happily shed light on the situation for you. I never intended to keep her safe. I thought by telling you what I know, you'd show mercy! Your destiny lies with the Duke, woman. Be nice to him, and maybe he'll treat you well. I meant what I said. I'm sure Kendo can help you find and confront Giselle. You should consult with him on it. Be sure he's prepared when I get there. Of course, friend. I will see you at House Thul. Come, Renata. Time to face your fate. And a terrible fate it will be.